Organizations across the globe recognize the potential for transforming their business using AI. However, this comes with challenges, including running AI at scale, ensuring good governance, and putting to use all of an organization's data to achieve competitive advantage. Hyperscience, an enterprise AI solution, enables end-to-end -end business processes and is leading a new AI market category called hyper-automation. Hyperscience believes that behind every document lies a human experience, whether it's a family buying their first home or a patient seeking life-saving treatment. At its headquarters in New York, the company is on a mission to revolutionize the way documents and back office data are collected, analyzed and processed using artificial intelligence and machine learning. So the data in a back office is really complex. Their purchase orders, their invoices, their bills of lading, they typically have a lot of handwriting and multiple people have to look at those documents. So hyperscience can train models to read that information and we can read it quite fluently across languages. We then have interfaces for your experts to review that information and actually do the approvals. And what that ends up doing is allowing you to sculpt new end-to-end -end processes using ML and AI in an end-to-end -end fashion that's never been imagined that way. Artificial intelligence is reshaping our lives and our future. It's also transforming the way that businesses operate. By liberating a workforce from the mundane, tedious tasks, it means they can focus more on the customer experience. At HyperScience, uh, we're working with the state of Colorado and other state and local governments um, to increase the efficiency and the speed with which certain social benefits are processed. Yes. HyperScience reads the data, ma data that would otherwise be manually read by a human and then input into a downstream system and much more quickly and efficiently. Jamie Fisher and his company have been a strategic partner for HyperScience customers for the last five years. He's impressed with the extremely high rates of accuracy and automation. For a lot of us, and I'm sure everyone can relate to this, your interaction with businesses is through documents. You fill out a document if you're buying your first house, um, if you've had a, a tough event and, and you're trying to go through the insurance claim process. So your connection to, to your insurer or your bank is through a document. Um, so making that as seamless as possible and things turning around as fast as possible is paramount to, to customer experience. Hyperscience CEO Andrew Joyner says bringing machine learning and artificial intelligence into the core of an enterprise can unleash productivity and give companies a competitive advantage. So one of our customers is Amazon. They have 300,000 truck drivers. It's a high turnover business. And those truck drivers have to be onboarded according to compliance processes. We don't want dangerous drivers on the streets. So driver's licenses come in vehicle registrations, their insurance for their vehicles. We have to file compliance reports that we've done the check. We have to file that we've done drug testing. And so those are the types of processes that are in the back office. They've typically been outsourced to third parties, but now can be handled end to end by ML and AI provided by HyperScience. AI in the document space is fantastic. HyperScience is a tremendous platform to do that and you can make a real tangible um, benefit to, to your organization, whether it's through process efficiency, whether it's through customer experience, which we've touched on, um, or employee experience, because who really wants to be looking at forms and pulling data out? And while there are concerns about the use of artificial intelligence, HyperScience believes software developers have a responsibility to ensure that new technologies are transparent and free from bias. I think there is a lot of fear and uncertainty, understandably so, uh, about how this technology will impact our lives. But in a philosophical sense, I really believe that the greatest risk right now is uh, missing this moment, is failing to take advantage of this opportunity to really meaningfully evaluate how we interact with technology, how we interact with each other, and how AI can be really a force for good in the world.